Hey, quick question. How many email accounts do you have? Too many? You're not alone. Most people have multiple accounts for work, for school, on personal stuff. I personally have four email accounts from different providers and back in the days it took me a long time to check all the emails. I have tried a lot of different email apps and Apple Mail come as a winner and today I will share my tips and tricks and make your email pro. All right, I will break this video in four easy levels you can check up if you want to start with the basic or skip it but I recommend to check all let's start with level one the basics if you open email app to first time it's maybe look something like this and you just need to sign up choose your account I think most of the people have Google account and just sign up all right if you sign up it will be look something like this we have the sidebar here and the top bar. Let's take a look quick about the sidebar. You have the inbox right here and of course all the properties you have from your Google account is imported here as well. And no worries if you see something like this, it looks like a folder. This is basically the tags in your Google account that will appear here like a folder. You can toggle it off, toggle it on, it's up to you, you can choose it. Let's take a look at the top bar up here. You have a couple options here. If you click right click on here, you can also, if you don't like the icons, you can choose it text or icon and text. It's up to you. I go with the icon style. This is for me the best. We open the app. Now we have some emails. And if you connect the first time, it takes some time to upload all the emails. So I have sent some emails here to me and some subscription in my example account here or what i like to do i like to go to the settings and do some adjustments for example we have here our google account descriptions google and it's not really meaningful description let's change it for example personal and then you're ready to go it will change you can see it in the sidebar already we take a look of in a minute then you have a lot of stuff here to customize, like junk mails. Now, I don't go too much in detail here. For example, uh, if you don't like the font style, you can change it right here. But I really like this font, so I will not change it. And you have as a color code text. If you reply back to the email, you can see it like a thread. You can um, disable it or you can change the color. It's up to you what you prefer. All right, let's go back and let's custom our toolbar once again and what I wanted to add is the flags we drop the flag here but we cannot see it let's make this one a little bit smaller and then it's moved right here we can customize again and now let's go in the wiggle mode and then you can move this all around here I like to have it here and you can add some custom space as well if you need it but for now for me, this looks fine. Done. Now we have this flex here. I will explain in a minute what it's exactly do. Let's go here, click on this email. And if you click it here, you can see we got a new menu with name flex. You have a lot of different color here. Okay, I see it's uh, normally it's in the colors like red, purple, blue, and so on. I have like a one, I use only one flag always. It's swipe file if I find some email what's interesting to me I will tag it. You can actually go here and then it will filter only the flagged emails and if we go for here for example with IQ let's go with red now you can see the we get more flags so you can even right click on it and rename mailbox to understand the concept of Apple mails it's everything is like folder tags or the flags is always a mailbox so if you have a tag or folder from another account it's always a mailbox let's rename it you can call it like priority one or you just choose your tagging style i use only two of them a swipe file and the other red one right and then finish you can actually add more email accounts right here i have four of them so there are no limitation at all how many 
email accounts you can have one last thing and then we are finished the basics and if you go here on the email to write a new email you can click on this file and priority file you get this text for priority so if you send the email always use high priority of course all right we finished level one let's move to the next level productivity hacks let's go first we have some shortcuts i use every day for example if you want to archive this email press Control command a and it will archive it and if you want to delete something like this one command and backspace it will delete it or of course you can unsubscribe as well if you wish you can see the unsubscribe button here the apple mail will do the job for you all right let's delete this one if you have multiple accounts sometimes if you're on holiday and you don't want to receive the work emails you just go up here mailbox and look for set email mailbox offline and then you choose one of your email mailboxes and then you set it offline and then you will not receive email from this account until you put it again online here little pro tip if you see the toggle here smart email mailboxes you can see it's set up for today for example if you set your work email offline what i like to do is to create new smart mailbox and for example holiday and then i just adjust for example some date receive and then i will do yeah i put some date range for example let's assume it's like example and for example if you're two weeks vacation you just put it here and then set okay and then if you come back you just go to the smart mailbox and just check if you need to follow up on some emails or not i do it all the time my favorite feature another interesting feature in apple mails is setting reminders you can either click right click on here and remind me for example in one hour to reply to the email and you can see already will automatically get yeah, in your favorites bar here and yeah you have this time icon here it's pretty cool or what i like to do is i use reminders app and then i will just drop and drag and drop here and i have my link to the email directly here and he has a reminder rename it and then I put it yeah the day on it and yeah I'm ready to go so you can choose which one you like I prefer the put it in reminder app so I will not forget it have you ever wondered if you have a image in your download folder but you don't know where it's come from good news if you download it from your Apple mails you get a little mail icon on it and then you can click on it and you will directly jump to the email where you download this attachment it is pretty cool i just discovered recently i love it now let's take a look um, if you have some emails you send a little bit often you can save it as a template or draft keyboard shortcut is command s and you should save it as a draft let's take a look if you go here and drafts yes you can see you have it save it as draft and then you can reuse it if you click here and send it's pretty cool i have couple drafts or you can go over here file and then save as well so don't waste any time anymore so just save some drafts and of course don't forget put it high priority and send it to your friends or to your co-worker in case I forgot to mention it if you click here on the plus icon you can actually adjust your favorite bars like VIP contacts if you mark someone as VIP it will appear there and follow up and yeah you have a lot of stuff to customize but most of the time mail app is pretty clever and smart it's if you do some action it will automatically appear in your favorite bar so you don't have to do it but in case you want to adjust for yourself uh, you can do it right here all right we finished level two let's move on to level three to get organized in apple mail back in the days i have this issue where i try to put everything in folders and wasted a lot of time of organization so now the cool part apple mail feature the search function is pretty good all most of the time you can search for everything you want 
for example, specific keywords or the email address you're looking for, it's pretty handy. So I highly recommend to try it out. It's most of the time it, it's pretty accurate and find all the stuff you need. However, if you still want to put it in a folder, put it a tag, you can do it as well. I like to use the strategy I learned from Tiago Forte. You have to decide what you want to do with the email. You want to reply instantly to the email, put it in a hive, delete it or add to your calendar or you can save it as reference for example in your note taking app or you put a flag on it or tag what I showed you earlier and of course you can use a folder as well if you um, use the Google Drive before you created some folder you can put it as well over there for later reference or you can send it to reading later app only this steps available for me. I don't put it in my mailbox. I really like if I my mailbox is empty. Level three was a quick one, so we finish it. Let's move to level four. It's a bonus level. It's pretty simple. Is some or nice to know or nice to have tips and tricks. The first one is mail drop. I will put link in the description from direct from Apple what is exactly done. But if you go to the settings again and you can toggle in it's enabled that you can send larger files so it's pretty cool i just use it three or four times if i have to send to some suppliers or customer a larger file the next is is like personal touch you can add some signature to get yeah, to your email addresses and yeah, it's nice touch if you have your signature it's not must have but it's nice to have all right now we finish level four and this just some basic feature this app is pretty handy you can do even more if you go directly to iCloud login and then you can adjust a couple more stuff I didn't cover everything but let me know if you're interested I will do part two where I go more in detail how to get organized even better with Apple Mails all right thank you so much for your time if you enjoyed this video it was useful for you you maybe enjoy my Apple Notes video thank you so much and see you in the next one